Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Torres was arrested on April 4th of 2020 after deputies were called to a Linda Street address for a disconnected 911 call. Witnesses told deputies that they had heard the two occupants of the trailer fighting and yelling. Deputies forced their way into the residence and discovered Piper's body, which had sustained visible injuries to the head and face. Piper had been suffering from stage 4 terminal cancer and was unable to resist. Torres told deputies that the argument was over a bag of marijuana that Piper had spilled on the floor. Torres went on to strangle his roommate until he stopped breathing. Christopher Piper, Jonathan Piper's younger brother and only sibling, appeared in court to give a victim impact statement. Piper explained that Torres had been a friend of the two since he was four years old and described Torres as being the neighborhood bully, but that he grew out of that. Piper said that Torres offered to care for his brother through his treatment for lymphoma cancer and the remainder of his life. He said that his brother, at five foot eleven, only weighed about 100 pounds. Before imposing sentence, Judge Wonker said that she had reviewed the entire case from statements to officers' body cam footage. Probably the most disturbing part about this case for this judge, having watched everything, is twofold. One is the fact that when the Knight County Sheriff's Office responded, they didn't break the door down. Um, I, to this day, do not understand the lack of understanding that, that no probable cause was needed to breach the door on the property and go in. Uh, instead, after fumbling and bumbling for 35 minutes, finally a lieutenant made the determination to call a locksmith, and that took a significant amount of time, and then it took the locksmith a significant amount of time to get the door open. Um, if you, uh, and, and my comments are twofold with regard to that. One is that if you had time to call a locksmith, you had time to call a judge, if you truly believed you needed probable cause. But there are 11 exceptions to the search warrant, to entering a property without a search warrant. One is the medical emergency exception. It's very well delineated under Nevada law with Nevada Keys Authority. And so it's troubling to me. Maybe I understood the deputies, but it went from a deputy to a sergeant to a lieutenant. The lieutenants report directly to the sheriff. So we have 11 uh, lieutenants here at the Nye County Sheriff's Office, and it's troubling to me that the deputies, the sergeant, and the lieutenant did not understand the law. With that being said, it's equally as disturbing to me when the Nye County Sheriff's Office was at that property, knocking on the door, knocking on the windows, that Mr. Torres stood silent, that they could hear movement in the property, but he wouldn't come to the window or to the door. It's going to be the order and the judgment of the court that the defendant, Marco Antonio Torres, is sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole, with parole eligibility beginning when a minimum of 10 years have been served, 